installing DB Link configuration is a little confusing at first. So the first thing you really need to do is once you get onto this website of the DB Link configuration page, uh, I've already installed the server, the perk data, and the TV source. But you probably won't have it, so you'll have to click that, install. And you will pick your signal sources. And most people will be using this one here, DB Link TV source. That's for over the channel, over the air TV plus satellite for the European countries. Uh, these other ones here, they also use those. But we're only going to be doing that one. TV Advisor, that's for the European countries. We don't have that in the United States. EPG Loader, this is the one that gives you the TV guide. For the United States, the uh, North America, uh, your only option is APG Loader per data, which is very good. Gives you 14 days of guide. So once you install those, then you go to Sources. Now this is running on my NAS, so it's just a little bit slow. Now, yours. I've already got it uh, installed, so I may be missing a few steps that you're probably scratching your head on. But I believe you will have to do a uh, scan, and it will show you your tuners. Now, I have two physical tuners, dual tuners, two HD home run products. One of them is here with two tuners, and the other one's here with two tuners. search channels, manage channels, edit channel sections. Okay, we don't need to do that yet. Again, it's kind of slow because it's running on my NAS. So we go to chat, uh, well, EB EPG sources, this is where I picked out perk data, or if you use an XML file created by external program, you can also use that. So I've got that also. Okay, you go to channels. And when you first set it up, you're going to have to do a channel scan. And depends on how many tuners you have, if they both receive the same signal, you do a scan for one and it'll scan all your channels for you. And then on the other tuner, on your other tuner, uh, you have the option to use the same scan channels that you used on the first tuner, if that makes sense. Okay, now here it says by provider or by transponder. So you take the provider, use that arrow, and sends it over to here. And once it gets over here, it shows all your channels that you've got. Okay, so that's set up. Then you go to the channel merge. And this is if you have two separate antenna feeds, then you would merge the channels. But since you're only using one input, most of the time you do not need to do the channel merge. Then you go to channel settings. And it's going to show you all these here. It'll show you what you've got. And basically, that's for if you want a uh, uh, parental control, whether you want to lock them or not lock them. So that's that option. Then you go to EPG sources. Now, this is the tricky one. Now, you pick out your channel that you've got, and you have choices there. Now, the way I got it up here, you can use TV Source 1. Now, that's from my XML file that I can pick from. But since I'm using the perk data instead, I select that. Now, on each one of these, you will have to go down, and they'll all be set to default. They'll all be set to default or none. So change that to, change that to perk data.
Okay, 28.1. So I gotta go over here and find 28.1. Twenty-eight one. I've got it highlighted here, so I click that button right there. Okay, it just moved it over there to perk data. So that's how you do that. So again, when you first get it, it will be set to default in all probability, and when you go back, none there. So you have to go back over to two point one. Go back over here. Find your channel 2.1. There it is. And since you've got it highlighted, you got to highlight it. Okay, now you highlight it there. I go to 2.1. Ah, and it brought it back over. So that's done. So you click Save. Uh, channel settings. Oh, we already did that. So I think that's pretty much it. Now under settings, the only thing really there available is to do a backup and a restore. Uh, most of the stuff, well obviously that's your port number, but uh, most of the stuff we really don't need. Uh, now one thing that I do want to advise you on, if you do have trouble uh, streaming this information to an external device, you may have to open up a port on your uh, Router, I believe this 39876 is already opened, but I'm not positive whether I had to open it on mine or not. The 8100 should be already open on your router. If not, you may have to go to your router open that port. So I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, since I was already had everything set up, I couldn't go from step one, step two, and do it. But per, if people have trouble with this, I'll go ahead and delete it and do it from scratch. Thank you.